So VRChat just did something that I was not expecting. I'm currently not using a headset with face tracking. I'm also not even using a VR headset at all. In the open beta for VRChat right now, if you have VRChat Plus, there is now an option for desktop users to have expression tracking, which is done through your webcam. So everything right now with the somewhat face tracking, with the head tracking, and even the hand tracking that has gesture tracking, is all just done on desktop mode with my webcam. So VRChat pretty much just turned itself into a native VTuber app, and this works with any avatar. So while this is still in open beta and anyone can go use it by just enabling open beta on the Steam library, this is kind of an early look of what we'll be getting in VRChat very soon. So now for any avatar, it doesn't have to be one that has special blend shapes. If you're on desktop mode, then you can just enable this mode in the settings, and through your webcam, you will now have the ability to have head tracking, hand and gesture tracking and expressions and it's kind of neat to see stuff like this be added to the game and of course it's not as advanced or as accurate as face tracking through a headset with face tracking like the quest pro vi pro i or a do-it-yourself system as well the avatars are still different whereas the desktop mode face tracking is using the default blend shapes and manipulating the face through that whereas a purpose-built face tracking avatar for a headset with face tracking will usually have a lot more blend shapes that customize certain expressions to track your face better. But then again, we are also comparing the difference between a very expensive headset with an avatar that's probably going to be expensive compared to a free option for desktop mode with avatars that you don't need to customize at all. Now, since it is using a webcam, it isn't the most accurate and there is some noticeable latency for things like the hand tracking, but it's a lot better than what desktop users had before. The eye tracking is also a little bit not the greatest, uh, partially because I'm wearing glasses, but again, it's a webcam. So it, it can track your eye blinking, a little bit of the mouth. And just having the head tracking is a lot for desktop users. And there is an option on there for it to automatically select the best tracking method, but I found that when I had that enabled, it was kind of hitching whenever it would change up, whenever it would change tracking modes. So I, so personally, just at least with this beta, I just turn that off and select whichever version uh, seems to be the best for my system. So, so if we just like, so just like moving over here or something, so I'm not looking at the mirror. Um, yeah, so we got our, you know, little hand tracking thing, uh, and it it seems to work. So you can actually now in desktop mode finally like you know, say hi. <laughs> so yeah, it just adds like a whole other layer to uh, desktop mode. So to turn it on, all you have to do is open up your menu go to the large settings option and then in tracking IK down at the bottom here at the top of that panel then there's the option here to enable selfie expression. And you just turn it on and then it just works.